Good morning. I believe that the story of the walls and gates of Jerusalem correlate with our quarantine of today. In that vein, I would like to talk about my personal experience with COVID-19. I probably caught the virus watching my grandkids play three basketball games on Saturday, March 7th. I started feeling bad five days later on March 12th. To make a long story short, I finally was diagnosed as being positive with COVID-19 on March 27th. So March was a pretty rough month for me, especially being alone and no one being able to come into the house to help me. At times it was difficult to keep a positive attitude every day, but that was the time to lean on my faith in God and to be thankful for the people in my life. There were positives. I was blessed with my son, Kyle, bringing me food and anything else I needed, along with my daughter-in-law, Karen, also bringing me food and goodie bags. They would ring my doorbell and leave everything on my porch. I know my grandkids, Preston, Emerson, and Hayden, were very concerned about me too. And my daughter, Nicole, her husband, Craig, and Spencer and Sawyer, who live in New Hampshire, called or texted me on a daily basis, checking on me. And them being so far away made it more difficult for them. Nicole and Kyle kept asking me what my temperature and oxygen level were, so every day I started texting them with my temperature and oxygen level. I always have been a little detail-oriented. And then I had my friends, and of course my church family, providing me with prayers, food, phone calls, and cards. I was so fortunate in so many ways. One sad event during this time was the fact that I had to put my last cat button down because she had been sick for months and was getting worse and I was too sick to take care of her. I know for her it was the right thing to do, but gosh, that was hard. My heart goes out to all who have passed away from this illness and those who currently have the virus but do not have the support system with which I am blessed. They and their families are the ones who need our continued prayers. I firmly believe that with positive attitudes, safety precautions, and most importantly, faith in the Lord, we will get through this crisis and we will be stronger because of it. We will have withstood the siege.